Hello and welcome to this Dot Frost video on using the area of a triangle to find a length. So we've got this triangle here, ABC. The, the area of triangle ABC is 42 centimetres squared. Find the perimeter of this triangle ABC. Give your answer to one decimal place. Well, let's remind ourselves how we find the area of a triangle. If we've got the base of the triangle, B, and we've got the perpendicular height of the triangle. By perpendicular height, I mean the height of the triangle is at right angles to the base, which is in this case, you can see that right angle, the area is half times base times height. So we're gonna use that formula. So let's just use all the information we've got and plug it into this formula here. We've got the area, which we're told is 42. That is equal to half, multiplied by the base, which we're told is 10, multiplied by the height, which we don't know. Uh, we're just gonna call that h for height. So I'll put the h there. Let's simplify this a bit. Half times 10 is five. So we've got five h, five lots of h. And then we can divide both sides by five. That gives you 8.4, put it in my head is equal to h. So we know that the height of this triangle is 8.4 centimetres. I'm not going to put the unit in until the end. But we asked for the perimeter of this triangle. So we need this length, this length, and we need to add on this length as well, the hypotenuse. So now we're going to have to use Pythagoras to get that third length. And if you don't know how to do Pythagoras theorem, please look at my previous videos on that first. But let's put the lengths we know. We've got 10 here. We've got the height is 8.4 and we want to find this hypotenuse. I could use H, but that's gonna confuse it with this H here, so I'm just gonna use X instead. So, if we plug it into Pythagoras theorem, one of the shorter length squared, so 10 squared, plus the other shorter length squared, so 8.4 squared, is equal to the longest length, the hypotenuse squared. So now, I can just simplify that on my calculator, so it's gonna be 100 plus 8.4 squared, and that's 170.56. Now I've got x squared, but I want x to get rid of the squared, I need to square root it, so square root of that answer. And that gives me a value of x is 13.0599. Now we want the perimeter of this triangle, so the perimeter, I'm just gonna use p for short, is the sum of the three lengths, so it's the 10 plus the 8.4, plus the, uh, now we only need to give our answer to one decimal place, so I'm just gonna use 13.1 here without any loss of accuracy that we need. So if I add those together, that gives me 31.5, and now we do need the unit now because this is our final answer, that's in centimeters, so the perimeter will be in centimeters, and that is the final answer.